So to increase your max wild dino level for people who play single player or host off their console, you need to increase this difficulty slider up to one. Once that is simply done, you then need to load up your world and use this admin command, destroy all wild dinos. And then once that's done, it will destroy all the wild creatures on the map and then give it about up to 30 minutes for it to fully repopulate with all the new high level creatures. Now, it is important to note that unfortunately the island, Scorched Earth and Aberration have their override hard coded to full, meaning that their max wild level dinos after the slider is set to one is 120 for standard dinos, 144 for tech dinos, and 152 for drakes and wyverns. But on extinction and the mod maps, it's hard coded to five, meaning the max wild level dinos after the slider is set to one is max 150 for standard, 180 for tech, and 190 for wyverns and drakes, which is the same as official. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, you can't make the difficulty higher than one, nor are you able to change these hard-coded overrides. I've been trying for the entire day to make it all official, and I've had absolutely no luck. Nor does the maximum difficulty tick box at the bottom work. Nothing has worked. So if you've managed to get this to work, do let me know, but I can't seem to get Island Scorched and Aberration to have official dino levels. Um, but yeah, the only versions of Ark that I've been able to make their single player slash host dedicated servers have a higher wild dino level than 150 is the steam and the windows 10 versions via the advanced configurations of their game user settings i and i which we'll be covering a little bit later on all right now the next three methods are a little more complicated but the easiest way to do it is by using this free application called beacon once you have it installed you simply want to click this drop down menu here and you want to go to where it says difficulty then once you are here, we can then go ahead and adjust the stats. So this one here will tell us what the max wild level is for standard creatures, right? So right now, the max level a standard creature can be is 150. Then we have the offset, which is to always be kept at one. And then we have the override, which is the stat that actually adjusts the max wild dinos level. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the max wild standard level 300. Now the easiest way to do that is simply come here and type in 300. And there you go. It's already changed the override exactly what we need it to be. Now, it is important to note that tech creatures and drakes are spawned at a much higher level than the standard creatures. So with going off this example, tech creatures, their max rank will be 360. And Wyverns and Drakes, their max rank will be 380, as like I said, they spawn at much higher levels than that of standard creatures. Now, it is also important to note that the story arcs, so Island, Aberration, Extinction, have a lower chance to spawn high level creatures compared to the mod map. So for example, you might find 50 more high level creatures on Ragnarok than you would on the island, and that's just completely normal. So... Once you've got this the way you want it to be, best thing you got to do is now click File, then go to Export, and then here is the two settings you need, the Difficulty Offset, and then the Override, which is what we're going to need to use for the next three examples. So in order to configure your Steam or Windows 10 Wild Dino level past 150, you need to locate the GameUserScenes.ini file on your computer. So on the screen right now are the file paths my computer has to locate the Windows 10 edition and my Steam version of the game user settings, which you know you require. Now, the only part that should be different for you is highlighted. The rest of the file path should be the same. I'm currently looking at my Steam one right now to give you a bit of an indication of what's going on. But once you've come here, you open up your game user settings, and then I like to go Control F and I type in diff for difficulty. And then it should be the first setting uh, under server settings. So under server settings should be the difficulty offset. Now, first thing you want to do, make sure that's one. Now, if the second bit is not here, which is just under it, the override official difficulty, go ahead and add that. Then refer to the previous part of the video we just covered talking about what number you need so you can get that uh, override correct. Then once that's done, you simply need to just go ahead and save the file and then close it and you'll be good to go. Now, it is important to note though that Arc cannot be open when you make any changes to these files at all. Like Arc has to be turned off. I don't even have Arc running right now. Arc cannot be running. Then you're gonna make the change, 
close it, and then you can launch up Arc. Because the reason what happens is, nine out of 10 times, if you make any change while Arc is running, the change actually won't be saved, and then you're just gonna cause a whole lot more problems. But anyway, once that's all done, load up your Arc server, commence a dyno wipe, and then once that's done, give it up to 30 minutes for that world slash server to populate all the high level dinos that you want it to be. Moving on to your server, first make sure the server is turned off, then head to your expert mode and locate it in your game user settings. On line 76 it should be, is the difficulty offset. Now, go ahead and make sure the difficulty offset is at 1, and then once that is done, you want to go ahead and add this line of code below it called override official difficulty. And then go ahead and make that number what you want it to be. I've already covered it early in the video exactly what this does. So go check that out, learn what it does, and then come back and change it the way you want it to be. But once you've changed that, save the change, then wait about five minutes, start up your server. Then as soon as your server is up and running, jump onto your server, do a dyno wipe. And then once that's done, it'll take up to 30 minutes for the server to repopulate with all the new high level dynos. And there you go. Alright, so the last way in which we can modify our server is using the general settings when non-expert mode on your Nitrato server. So, if you're not using expert mode, you simply want to scroll down to gameplay, and here you'll find the difficulty offset and the override official difficulty. First thing you want to do, make the offset 1, so that will just completely, that's perfect, and then after that with the override, go check the previous section of the video, find out exactly what those numbers will mean for the dyno levels, come ahead, change it, save the change, then wait about five minutes, and then start up your server, then jump in your server once it's ready to go, do a dyno wipe, and then give it about 30 minutes to fully repopulate with all the new high level dinos. But with that, it, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope this helped you change the max wild dino level. If you had any problems or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will do my best to assist you. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>